let's show you the lovely view out our door this morning look at that okay you get a bit of traffic noise but who cares with that view been watching the gannets diving in this morning amazing watching them diving for fish This was one of our first ever stops in this area, weren't it? Yep, In fact, it was the first one. And our favourite, isn't it? It is. I love it here. Yeah. So we are waiting for a couple of subscribers to turn up, aren't we? Patricia and Alan. We met them here before. Yeah. But they have kindly paid for us to stay overnight at a site, haven't they? Yep. To show us where it is and to thank us for our videos. So, think it's in Dumfries and Galloway? I think it is anyway. But we'll know when we get there. And we might film there, but it depends. They might not want us to. They might want it kept a secret. And then we won't, will we? We shall see. Well, Alan and Patricia have turned up. We're following Alan. Speedy Gonzales, isn't he? Yeah. Jaws have been in a camper van rather than a big heavy motor home, I think. But yeah, we're following them because we don't know where we're going. But it's turned out to be a lovely day. A bit chilly. But it's still nice. Problems, aren't we, babe? We have, yes, big problems. Yeah, we're stuck in limp mode. Yep. Right, where are you? Yeah, the uh, DPS block. Right, we're back driving again. But Carl will explain. Yeah. DPF filter is blocked. This is, these systems are pretty crap for that. It's been good, but when we come off our run, the light warning light came on two days ago I think it was down and half ago yesterday. was it yesterday yeah okay well, I can't remember but yeah, yesterday. yeah we couldn't do much yesterday because we we're doing short journeys and I thought I'll give it a run today so the light came back on to clean it so I gave it a good fraping up an hill and then bang straight into mode lost power no power 10 mile an hour traffic all behind me so we've had to pull into a lay by to let the traffic go probably diagnostics on it it's coming up particulated filter blocked which I know it is blocked can't do anything about it at all so and because we're not in any recovery service we don't like being in recovery services like it's gone back into limbo no, now no yeah it's just lost all power again so I'm just gonna nurse it all the way back yeah we're stuck in 30 on a 60 yeah. a minute no power it's gone again yeah. oh well what can we do so we're going to go to the site anyway. Yeah. Because the problem's there regardless. So yeah. That's that. So we go for the site and then on the way back we'll just have to nurse it all the way home. Once we get on the motorway we can keep the speed going at one speed and it should be fine. Yeah. If it goes up to that speed in the first place. It, it'll go. It'll go. It'll probably take a week. Funny. But 
so the problem with the yeah the problem with these filters is they're great if you're going up and down the motorway every single day at 70 mile an hour but we ain't so it's one of them I'm gonna have to get the filter off get it all cleaned out and put it back on we've got a massive hill man <laughs> oh god yeah yeah, that's it. Hazards are on. How eh? fast are we going? 29 and we're going low. We're going we going yeah, low. 29 miles an hour trying to get up the hill. 25, 20. Oh, 25, 20. Oh, we ain't going to stop. We are. We're not, we're not going. We've got no power. Yeah, look at the speedo. Just keep going. Can you see that? 21 miles an hour going up the hill. Not good. No. We're nearly at the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you can do it. Hey, momentum, momentum. Oh, God. No oh, more hills, God, please. Right, there. there you go. It's got to happen in Scotland, does not it? Yeah. Oh, nightmare. I'll be downhill now, but all right. What to do your selection? Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, they look good. <laughs> what else? What right. else? Sit. What else? Oh, which right. Have a look first. Which right. one do you want? Which, which one's one? Nookie Bear? Which one? What? What? <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. Look at that for a lovely view. We are at a community run campsite with Patricia and Alan. Lovely sunny day, lovely views. We've come out for a walk with Nucky Bear, ain't we? We have. We have. This track will go on for miles and miles and miles when it looks. It will, all round the side. Yeah. <laughs> the campsite there it's called Kings Green and it's in Port William and it's community run I think it's £14 a night for two adults and two children non-electric or 18 quid with electric and it's right on the bay all right here isn't it it is very nice yeah not bad for the campsite Nice views. Yeah, not too bad at all. They're looking after us, ain't they? Pampering us. Yeah, really nice. Give us some gin. You gin. Me gin. What did you have? Beer. Yeah, the beer. Soup. Yeah, we had homemade soup of Alan. Carl had mushroom. Cream of mushroom. Very nice too. I had cream of tomato and they had some chicken, didn't they? Yep. All homemade by him. And he gave us some veggies because he grows stuff in his garden, do not he? Brought us some freshly dug up potatoes. Dug up this morning. Yeah. Some tomatoes and a cucumber. That's massive. Yeah. Good, any? And ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing he couldn't do was fix the van. <laughs> yeah. No, they've been lovely, ain't yeah. they? Really, really looking after us. Look at that for a view out the cab window. 
Nice, isn't it, Uggs? Yes, very nice. Yeah, really nice. We've come out for a walk with Patricia and Alan into Port William and this is Kill and Trey Burn. Look at that for the view. Men make me laugh, man. They go on saying women don't stop talking. And them pair have been there for about 15 minutes. And they ain't shut up. We've walked down the jetty. The harbour. It ain't half windy. Look at that. Stunning views. Mesmerising and it just watching it. Tides out though unfortunately. I think it is coming in now. But it's quite a nice place. Just been to the cafe and had hot chocolates. Man, it's windy. And Alan's gone back to check on his doggy, and Patricia's gone to have a mooch in the charity shop. People working on a property. So we're just going for a little bit of a walk before we head back to the site. We've just walked up the steps of Maxwell Park. Lovely views from up here. Shame the tide's not in because the harbour would look really, really nice. <music> Mr. B's on a swing. Look at him. Big kid, ain't ya? Oh, yeah. Surprised Nucky ain't savaging him. <laughs> and there's big baby Ellen. I did tell her that the baby one is the one next to her, but she wouldn't have it. Go on, Aya, Aya. Try. Try. If you go fast, you might go all the way over. Go on. Wow. And Aya. Wow. Right, try with no hands. <laughs> Right, now when you go, just let go and jump. That's what you used to do when you was a kid. I never did. I did. Yeah. I know you ain't. All done. 
Is that your exercise for a week? <laughs> oh, <laughs> see ya! What a lovely couple. Yep, definitely. Had a really, really nice weekend. Well, it ain't a weekend actually. <laughs> we just keep thinking it's one, don't we? Yeah. But it's actually Saturday today. It's a trouble when you live in a van, you don't know what day of the week it is. Lose track of time. You do. But they've really looked after us, ain't they? They have, pampered yeah. us. Yeah, been amazing. Yep. I mean, Alan grows his own stuff, so he bought us potatoes and tomatoes and cucumber, homemade wine, yep. homemade jam. And the no rhubarb breakfast. Yeah, the rhubarb and yoghurt breakfast. Brought us some cheeses to try from Orkney, because they went to Orkney yep. for a week and a half. Really, really nice couple. Definitely nice. Really friendly and just really kind as well. So we've loved it. We'll meet up with them again, won't we? Oh, we will. Definitely. As long as they want to meet up with us, we'll meet up with them. Really enjoyed the company. So at the minute, we're on the road, leaving the site. I think it's the A7 summit. 747. I thought it was a 747, yeah. but I didn't want to say it in case I was wrong, yeah. but I did think it was. And we are doing, oh, we're on nearly 40 miles an hour. It just had the display thing for the DPF, but it just disappeared again, and it's, it's coming and going, coming and yeah. going. So hopefully we won't hit any hills and we'll manage to get to Morecambe because that's where we're going to stay tonight. Yeah. Because that's a good halfway point, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So couple of hours, maybe more if we can't get over 40 miles an hour, we'll see. But we'll let you know anyway. Struggling up the hill, ain't we? Yep. What are we doing? Um, 33, but we're yeah. coming to the top. 33 and a 60. There's cars behind us. Yeah. Should get some speed up again now, shouldn't we? Slowly. Yeah. Gone up to 40. That's one overtaking. Two overtaking. Parked up, finally got to Morecambe. Took us about eight hours, but we did get LPG and fuel and shopping as well. And there's Morecambe. Tide's coming in. Hopefully we'll get back tomorrow. <laughs> 